my name is Asanka. This is a new to this channel. You are watching DIY with Asanka. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing because I am going to show you some cool things that you can do from your home. Alright friends, this weekend what we will be doing is, we will be making this emergency lamp. How it works, it works is, when you uh, switch off, when the main power goes down, this light will auto come automatically. And I have put a switch here, even if you don't want uh, during the daytime, you can just switch it off. Even though the main power is not there, this light remains off. And during the uh, night time, you can leave this on and uh, as long as the main power is there, this light will be uh, switched off. So this weekend, I'll be showing you how to make your own emergency light. Right friends, these are the things that you're going to need. You'll be needing a 12 volt battery. The only important thing that you need to know is, as long as it should be 12 volts, keep that aside. And uh, you'll be needing a AC to DC step down uh, transformer. This one is from an old uh, router. If you read the label here, you can see it is converting uh, 240 volts to 12 uh, DC 12 volts at the rate of uh, 1 amp. So uh, the amperage is not so important as long as converting the 140 uh, main current, main power voltage to DC. You need this to sense whether the main power is there or not. And the brain of this uh, project is the relay. Now there are two types of relays. One is the 4 pin relay, as you can see there are 4 wires attached to, attached to this uh, relay. So this type of a relay is more useful in uh, wiring uh, horns and uh, headlights and off-road lights for your vehicle. It's a little bit similar to this, but uh, as long as you give power to these uh, 2 wires, these 2 wires will be connected. So as soon as this uh, the relay does not get any power, this uh, switch also get off. So we are not going to use something like this. We need a 5 pin relay. As you can see here, you have 5 pins. So you need a 5 pin relay for this. The other thing is you need a, a DC bulb for this. So even though this looks like a regular household bulb, uh, this uses 12 volts instead of the main power. One thing to consider is it should be 12 volt and that the lower the watt number it is mentioned in the bulb, uh, the longer that this bulb will run on your setup. So you need a bulb for this and this is the holder for that bulb. You need this and other uh, items that you will be needing, uh, electrical tape and a scissor to cut them and uh, a fuse. Now this one is fuse holder with the fuse as you can see the uh, uh, blue color uh, one is the fuse here and the black color one is the fuse holder and uh, I have attached uh, alligator clip so that it is a little bit easy for me to connect it to the battery. And a multimeter, it is not essential but if you do have one, uh, you can um, follow this uh, with the multimeter but I will be showing you a method where you can wire the, wire the entire circuit without a multimeter. Right, the first thing that you need to do is uh, wire this uh, holder uh, so that you can easily fix this bulb. So it is easy, there are two screws here, you just unscrew them, attach the wires and uh, close the lid. Now uh, this particular bulb is since this is LED, it is priority sensitive which means if you uh, switch the negative and positive this won't work. So uh, just connect the bulb like this and connect these wires, if it does not work, switch the wires so that it will work and keep the light like this. And the other end, if you can, you can see uh, in this uh, white color wire, there is a black color strip which means this can to the negative one, this is only a alligator clip. You need to connect this with the fuse because the fuse, fuse should be nearest to the uh, battery. So if something goes wrong, this fuse will blow and uh, save your circuit. I am not going to incident tape this connection because we will be going to add the relay here. So negative goes to negative side of the battery, positive goes to the positive side of the battery. As soon as you connect these two together, this bulb should be uh, lighting. Like so. So now 
we need we are going to disconnect the uh, positive wire and we'll be adding this relay in between now uh, in this particular relay you might be able to see there is a diagram here so even though uh, your relay does not come with a diagram most relays are similar to this you need to give power to the pin number 85 and 86 the relay the pins are marked uh, with numbers so this is pin number 85 and 86 the yellow color wires you need to give power for this so uh, depending on how you are going to wire this relay behavior of this circuit will depend and you need to figure out what are the other two wires are if you go here pin number 87 uh, and 30 are the pins that we are looking at and uh, if you have a uh, if you don't have a, a diagram uh, in your relay you can use a multimeter for this the multimeter what it does is you need to figure out the continuity mode by showing you how to put uh, how to wire a off road light i'll be put a card in this corner just connect your uh, probes together and you should be able to hear a beep from your multimeter and uh, if your multimeter have uh, sound mode in it and uh, give power to this uh, yellow color uh, wires in your relay it's pin number 85 and 86 it does not matter uh, to which pin you give power as long as it has 12 volts connect given to the power to this relay this beeping should be stopped and as long as the uh, if you disconnect this relay the beeping should continue for those guys who does not have a multimeter what you can do is give power to this relay and see which pins are connected at the moment right so you'll be uh, connecting one in the center of this uh, and the other one is uh, to the side of this uh, connector i'm not going to cut this connector and hardwire it because i'll be reusing this uh, step down transformer for something else in the future so uh, this is where your insulin tapes comes in handy it does not matter uh, whether uh, you give uh, uh, whether you switch the positive and the negative when powered in the relay make sure to leave this center portion uh, with the covering with the uh, insulin tape and uh, and you will be left with the uh, one wire I mean, uh, going to the bulb and one wire from the battery so you just uh, randomly connect these wires and see which wire has the continuity when you give power to the relay so i'll be connecting uh, one wire which is going to the uh, bulb and connecting the other wire to the battery and i'll be connecting uh, the red color wire with the red color wire from the battery Th these two does not have contact with each other and now i'm going to try the blue color wire so this also does not work and i'm going to switch the uh, white color wire with, with the blue color wire and power the red color wire as you can see when i connect the red color wire with the red color wire the bulb is lighting as soon as i disconnect the uh, power to the relay this bulb will go off which means now this relay is acting as a four pin relay as soon as you give power to this the, the other the load that is that been connected to the relay will be switching on we do not want the relay to be wired like that now what we'll be doing is we'll be disconnecting the power wire that goes to the relay and connecting one wire to the negative side of the relay and uh, connecting the other wire to see which wire has has the connection when the main power is disconnected from the relay i'll be connecting the uh, blue 
color wire with the red color wire on the battery okay now we have figured out what are the wires i will be just connecting these wires and make sure you do not short this wires with each other even if you do make a <coughs> short these wires the fuse will blow and uh, your circuit will be saved now to see whether this uh, circuit does work what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the uh, relay to the power light as soon as i give power to the relay the light will go off as soon as i disconnect this wire the light will uh, come on that is how you wire a relay uh, without using a multimeter here i have a regular uh, table lamp and uh, by using the uh, 12 volt dc bulb here replacing the normal uh, main power bulb I, I have replaced the bulb with a dc 12 volt uh, led bulb and i have connected the uh, other end of this bulb with two alligator clips so that you can connect it uh, red color goes to the positive wire and the black color goes to the negative wire right and if you take the back side of this lamp you can see i have connected this which is switch so that you can switch on and off this bulb whenever you want now we know the uh, yellow color wire from the relay goes to the uh, positive side of the step down transformer and with the plug in that and insulin taping that one so that in the future it won't come out if you are not going to use this jack you can just cut this wire and connect this wire straight away to the relay right before going to the switch i have disconnected this wire to connect with the relay i have switch on this switch and connect these two wires to see whether the bulb is working right it's working now you need to uh, connect the relay in between that since we are not going to use the red color wire we'll just insulin tape that one and close the end of it so that in the future it won't short with other wires in the circuit and you'll be ending up with the black color and the blue color wire just touch these two wires together whether the see to see the bulb is working without insulin taping this connection first connect them and make sure that you won't do your short each other because then the light will come on even if the relay is switched off and give power to the main and see whether this light goes off since it is working i'm going to cover the connections with insulin tape you can be more creative and hide the relay so that no one can see the relay it will look like a normal ta table lamp but uh, when the main power main power uh, is gone this light will come on automatically right as soon as i remove the uh, the uh, step down transformer this light will come on and if i connect the uh, st step down transformer the light will go off and during the daytime if the main power goes uh, the light will come on automatically so i have connected a switch here so that you can switch off this during the daytime uh, in the future you can do some upgrades to this circuit uh, you can uh, use a solar charging system to charge the battery so those are the uh, upgrades that you can do to this system hope you have enjoyed this video and have fun with your emergency light